Okay. Hello, um, I'm Dr. Philip Yu, the super laser doctor, and today uh, we're treating another Phil here, and uh, Phil's been uh, suffering from uh, some restless leg syndrome, um, some weakness in the leg, and basically he's been to pretty much every specialist you could think of, you know, Dr. Rosen's, the Berg's, the Kim's, the Lee's, this, this specialist, that specialist, with no definitive diagnosis, anything from herniated L5, S1, L4, 5 disc, to nerve root compression, to facet syndrome, to I don't know, let's run another MRI. So it was to the point where you know, he was gonna have some mesoblast therapy, looking into stem cell injections, um, and hopefully not having to have a fusion uh, surgery. So I'm gonna show you basically um, how we've been treating them and what results we've been getting. But I usually do a, a functional functional test, and what we usually do is test to see um, yeah, how, this, how long you could keep yeah, your leg up. Yeah, this way, right? See, I mean, we I can hold this up pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm here on the one. All day. Yeah. Strength and balance is pretty much good yeah, for that yeah, leg, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got this one, which is, goes up here, but now we can go up a little bit higher than we okay. did before. Because before, remember, we before were down you here. can only do like that, yeah. but and you can go a little higher. Yeah, and I can okay, also hold right. it here. Pretty all right. You feel your balance is straight. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, look, this is pretty good. And now we're going to do a few so. orthopedic tests. So why don't you line your back with your head right there? Okay. You should get a couple goggles. All right. I'm sorry, on your back there, buddy. Oh, the back okay. The other back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to test his psoas muscle. Psoas muscle attaches to your lower thoracic spine to your lumbars, uh -huh. and it wraps around and attaches to right here inside your hip. So we're going to test the strength and and braid it, so that's a five out of five. So it's full strength in the left leg, that's normal. And then here, test this one and push up. So I can take I could take them down, but it's still pretty good. It's probably about a three or four to five. Yeah, yeah. But before, yeah. kind of kind of think about how weak you were before and mimic yeah, that. So it, before it, I could, he was, yeah, like a, it was, yeah. he was like a two out of five. It was real weak. And we're gonna check the L4, so Push against in my hands, L5, push up, S1. Okay. So it's pretty much 5 out of 5 here. It's diminished about 3 out of 5. Okay. And the third thing we check for is leg length difference because if he has any interference with the reflexes in the spine, it's going to cause contracture on one side. So we're going to check the leg length and the legs could be, one leg could be short. Okay. Yeah. So go on your stomach. Yeah. Let me take off these off too. Right. Take these off. Yeah. Get a scanner. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. Go on your back. Okay. One more thing we found okay. was uh, the Babinski reflex was off. So in a normal person, when I run a sharp object in the bottom of your foot, the reaction is it's going to react. All right. It's going to spread out and extend. But for this foot, as you can see, it's it barely reacts at all. So that reflex is inhibited. So we know there's a neurological deficit in that right leg, all right? But what we found is, remember that one day I did the test after? Yeah. And it responded yeah, yeah, normally. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, and it has responded. Yeah. I've, been, I've been doing that myself a little bit. So. Okay. Yeah. Now you can go on your stomach, and we're going to start the laser scan. Okay. okay. So this is an infrared thermal scanner. And what we're going to do is we're going to detect where there's inflammation, irritation in the spine which will help us determine where he needs to be lasered to remove the, the interference in the nervous system. So we usually check his legs, just make sure they're neutral. All right. So we should, when his legs are extended, they're short. When we bend them, it crosses over, meaning the right leg becomes short. Did you get a crossover last time? Yeah. It's called a crossover pattern. What happens is, the right leg is short, when I bend it, the left leg becomes short, and that is indication there's an interference with the lumbar spine, so we can kind of cut down our search for efficiency. So we know in the lumbars there's some type of interference, so we palpate the top of the iliac crest, and if you go over to the center, we know that's an L4, L5 space, then one inner segmental space above, three, two, one. I'm going to scan from L1 all the way down to L5, and we get the normal temperature. Any jump in temperature, 0 0.6 degrees or more, we know that's where the nerve root interference is. Nine times out of ten, that segment will be tender. 
at 90, it jumps to about 91.4, 1.4 degrees higher, L5S1. Does that have to be tender today at all? Feel like it's bruised? Uh, not too bad right this now. One. No. A little bit more. Okay, than see right. right there. So L5S1 right, which is consistent with A, this leg being short, and B, it's on the right side, tenderness of that segment. Okay, now our master laser technician, Josh, he's going to show you, he's going to punch in the coordinates for this short leg pattern and indicator point scan. And we're going to show you exactly where we're going to treat, okay? So, could you pan in here and show the screen? This is called the SRA, Spondylogenic Reflex Analysis, which is determining your L5 segment on the right side has a reflex pattern causing a contraction of the right side causing the right leg to be short when it's an extension. So if you come here closer, you see that okay? Okay. All these colors here tells us where to treat exactly in the spine and for how many seconds, okay? So Josh, why don't we start with the, the right L5S1. It's red, so we're going to treat for 30 seconds, okay? And you got to know your anatomy in this, anatomy to determine correct segments. Right? So we're going to treat that for 30 seconds. All right, and make sure we get our goggles on because this is a class four laser. Okay. Oh, why didn't you give me the cool ones? I look like Dr. Octopus from here. Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man. Come on, I want to look like Cyclops from X-Men. Here we go. I like those ones. Yeah. So Josh is going to start out with the right L5S1 point, which is the main indicator point, which is the reason why we're going to stimulate that for 30 seconds. All right. And after that, we're going to go to the orange right here, which is 15 seconds. All the blue points are 7 seconds. Green is 5. Yellow is 3. Okay. Now, you've got to understand all these re spondylogenic reflex points have been mapped out for decades. Okay. And from, from researchers of the spine, Eastern Europe. And what they found was... Just like the patellar knee reflex, which is a reflex that goes between the patellar tendon and your quadricep, that is a reflex that happens every time it's predictable. The same type of reflexes can be found in the spine. But the problem is when we have an injury, a sport injury, a fall, a car accident, these reflexes are never shut off. So imagine if your knee reflex was never shut off, this quadricep would be contracted all the time and cause pain, stiffness, and dysfunction. That's what happens in the spine, and that's why these muscles on the right side contract, causing interference with the nerves going down the leg, causing weakness, reflex inhibition, numbness, restless leg syndrome, a whole host of symptoms that are really undiagnosable on a plain x-ray MRI, because basically, these reflex points are innate into your neurology. So now each point in the spine is specific to this pattern, the, L, the SRA L5 right pattern. So whatever pattern is found, you're going to have a different set of points you have to treat according to which spondylogenic reflex deficiency that you have, okay? That we have to shut off. Right? So what we're going to do is Josh is going to finish up the treatment and in the next segment we're going to retest Phil and see if we can improve some of the strength and the reflexes that we've found before. Okay, thank you.